welcome. This is a regular meeting of Cata Dia Welsh. We're going to be talking about a planning, a planning for a demonstration meeting on February 9th, Tuesday, February 9th at 4.30 p.m. in South Wales. That would be 12.30 p.m. in Argentina, uh, where there are Welsh speakers in Patagonia and also in the United States at 12, uh, 11.30 and uh, uh, 10.30 Central and uh, 9.30 on the uh, mountain time and 8.30 on the West Coast. My name is Michael Henry. I'm the technical facilitator for this project, but uh, really Welsh speakers are the ones who will facilitate this program. Um, right now I see Rihanna is in the, uh, the viewing location. I'm going to invite you in Rihanna so that uh, we can chat with you what will happen is you will see on the screen an invitation to join the panel. And if you have a headphones and a microphone on your computer, you will be able to speak. Can you hear me, Rihanna? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? It looks like, um, it looks like I cannot hear your voice. Um, Rihanna, uh, I would, uh, indulge you to please um, leave the meeting and come right back using the uh, the uh, link that I suggested and we're going to see if that uh, makes your microphone um, active. So go ahead and leave the meeting and, uh, and then uh, come right back using that same link and we'll get you on the panel. All right, I am also um, joined by uh, Fiona Carroll, who will be joining us uh, a little bit later. Uh, Fiona is at the University of South Wales, and both Fiona and myself are interested in this project, uh, well, for the study of um, indigenous languages, but also the study of, of uh, social language learning and uh, this program has been developed for Spanish and will be developed for other languages. Uh, but what we're doing is looking at it from a research perspective in terms of how people learn in, the, in a web conference similar to this one using social language learning uh, techniques. And I see that, uh, and Rihanna, you should actually be a presenter at this time uh, you should be able to unmute your microphone and you should be able to speak. Can you hear me now? Oh, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh dear. And it, what, what it unfortunately looks like is uh, we're, we're unable to hear you at this particular juncture. Rian, there's, there's also a telephone number and I'm going to put it into the chat window for you to, um, to call. And actually it was also in the email message that I sent to you. And what you can do is you can, um, uh, unfortunately it is a, uh, an international call. I'm hoping that uh, you'll be able to, uh, to use that telephone number. All attendees and, are muted uh, use, and may unmute um, themselves by pressing star uh, six. Let's see here, I'm going to, can't, it's hard for me to talk and actually to type at the same time. So I'm going to um, include this this uh, number here for you, and hopefully you'll be able to uh, call. So I'm going to send it just to you, and um, and then what you can do is you can uh, try to call that number, even if we speak just for a short while. Man, I would I would really appreciate it. This uh, program needs uh, some help in terms of uh, Welsh speakers, and so if you are able to. Yes, and it, unfortunately, I cannot hear you. I, apparently, you can hear me, but I cannot hear you. So there is a telephone number that can, you can use. This particular platform uh, does take a little bit of technical skill and uh, getting set up. But once it is set up, we've had a great deal of success um, putting people into the panel and having people participate from many different locations. And um, so I'm, I'm going to... Let me check and see if there's another setting that I can uh, I can do. Uh, let's see. Uh, what I could do is 
you know. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do, Rian. If uh, hello, I don't have a phone. I can hear you, so I will take notes. And I'll be like, okay, so the, Rian, I will just go ahead and run through the training process uh, that we're talking Entry about. Entry and exit and chimes are on. Type questions and also responses in the chat window. Fiona will be joining us hopefully in a little bit. So essentially, Rian, the the program works by having the students share activities in a live web conference. So the, the activities may be developed in a classroom situation or they may be developed on their own. We do have people that are participating in Katadia, uh, social language learning, who do their activities uh, on their own time and they do it for pleasure. They do it for learning the language and so here you see the the activities um, we have in english a song uh, dictionary dictionary is just basically sharing a word like you've heard of word a day uh, well that is to share a word and a, the context of the word so you may share a couple of sentences and um, and uh, that's really a very simple activity for someone who's studying the language and then uh, a news story or a story from a story book. And um, that's an activity where you basically find an, a, a news story online in the language you're studying, Welsh in this particular case. And um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in, oh, Fiona is on mobile. So I don't know, Fiona, if you'll be able to speak uh, in a, on using a mobile device. Uh, Fiona will be able to uh, type into the chat window. And Fiona, feel free to just say hello. We've got Rian in, uh, in the meeting here, and I'm describing uh, how the how Katadia works. We also have activities that uh, conversation, and and what that means is tips for conversation. So a lot of times, people who are studying a, another language are uncomfortable starting or approaching someone to speak in that language. So the conversation tips are really to share ideas about how to start a conversation. For example, questioning, how ask questions about uh, the weather or about where you've traveled or things of that nature. So that's how that works. And then verbs are really a concentration on grammar. It's the understanding that there are functions and forms of words and how those work. And then travels is a, an opportunity for people to share a story that they of a trip that they took or a trip that they will take in the future. And the uh, travels is also an opportunity for a travel company to in Welsh to share ideas for travel to a certain location. And that travel company may actually support the program through a sponsorship of some sort. And then also family, and, and what family is, is is the description of your family and also description of your friends, to share little uh, events that have happened and things of that nature with photographs and things of that nature. Um, Amanda and Fiona, feel free to confirm this in the chat window. Amanda has agreed to be one of the facilitator hosts. Um, uh, I have not been able to speak to Amanda, so I'd love, uh, Fiona, if you would uh, share just a little bit of information about your conversations with Amanda. She did correspond and say that she would be willing to be the host facilitator, which is the person who essentially leads people through these activities. And then Ana in Argentina, in Trulu, Argentina, where they she's a, a Welsh uh, teacher in Argentina. She's plan she has uh, agreed to be the assistant facilitator. So what we do in in a meeting, and right now I'm just describing what happens in a meeting, is uh, we have a waiting room. So all of the presenters will be uh, able to speak to each other and and test their microphones just as we we do this moment and. Honestly, I'm going to look into why your uh, microphone's not working, Rian, uh, and uh, we'll hopefully have a solution for that in the future. Um, 
And so in the waiting room, when we're ready to go, then we go ahead and broadcast and we start a recording at this point. And so uh, we have hopefully 25, 30, 45, maybe 100 people who join the meeting as viewers and they view the meeting to hear the stories and hear the uh, language learning activities. And so in this particular case, so we're going to get photographs of both um, Amanda, Amanda and also uh, uh, Anna, and we're going to have them here. And they would ask people to type into the chat window, type hello. I don't actually know how to pronounce that. If it's hello, or it's hello, or I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. And that would be wonderful. Fiona, do you want to try to speak? Do you have a... Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, can you hear me? I don't hear Fiona either. I'm wondering if there's something no. wrong on my end, which is a interesting uh, question. My, I'll my mic is showing. I'll see whether or not there's a problem with my... Oh, you can... Okay, you can hear Fiona. Isn't that amazing? What I'm going to do is... Actually, I'm going to leave the meeting and see if it's my audio that's a problem. So why don't you two stay right there? I'm I'm Rhiannon, going to, can you can you, uh, you can, can you say other, something so I can hear you the meeting and then I'm going to return to the meeting. So you stay right there. I'll be right back. Yeah. I can hear yeah, I can hear hi hi Rhiannon. Oh hi, can you hear me? Yes, how are you? Yeah, fine, thank you. How are you? Good. You're up in North Wales now, are you? Yes, I'm up here now doing some research. I'm on my sabbatical now, so. Oh, super. Super. Well, hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully Michael will be able to. Because <laughs> I was watching my mic go live and I was thinking, well, I think I can speak, but. Uh, yeah, Guess what? It must be Michael's side. Guess what? Yeah. It was me. And I it was, was your I, side. I am so, I am so embarrassed. I had, my, <laughs> I had I had my audio on mute. I couldn't hear anything because I had my speak. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm just so embarrassed. It's horrible. Rihanna, it was it's oh, really nice funny. to meet you virtually. Hello, can you hear me now? I sure can. It's wonderful to meet you virtually. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Now, how would in Welsh would you just pronounce hello the same as in English? Hello. Okay. So it's a little bit, the um, O is a little bit uh, heavier. So hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. So the accent is just a bit different. So hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Well, that's, it's very, very similar. Uh, so what we, and I'll just continue my little description here, Rian, because I think this is the first time that you've uh, participated with us. Uh, the the hosts would uh, basically welcome people and they would ask people to type into the chat window. So they would type in the chat window like that. So, um, and, and so everyone would say hello to each other. Go ahead and type into the chat window and say hello. When we have a hundred people in the meeting, it's kind of fun to watch the interactions that happen in the, the chat window. And then before well, we... Oh, go ahead. Go, go ahead, please. Sorry, Michael. Will the um, will the uh, the chats be recorded? Yes. Can they yes. be? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. And, and then um, and then what we do is we start out at the beginning speaking English because that's the root language, and then we will move into virtual immersion for the target language. So we start out by helping people understand how to participate. And so what we do is we ask people, have you, do you have the Katadia Welsh activities? And you could just type into the chat window. I could basically say, just type into the chat window right now. Have you seen the Katadia Welsh activities? Go ahead and type in the chat window right now. We're just pretending, but go ahead and type. Have, have Rian, have you seen, go ahead and just type in the chat window. Have you seen the activities? Yes or no? Just say, Yes or no? And Fiona, have you seen the activities? Go ahead. Fiona has. And okay, and Vian has not. And that's that's the kind of thing. And when we have 50 and 100 people in the meetings, we will get a sense very quickly 
of the people who haven't seen the activities. And then what we would also do is, um, and I need to, so I'll just say link at this point, we would put a, a link to the activities in the chat window so that people would have the, the activities. And we also have a, a couple of websites where the activities are located. There's a learning management system uh, where they can post their activities in the learning management system. They can also, um, there's a place to post the activities in Duolingo and also in We Speak. And so they're supposed to share their activities uh, using the hashtag Katadia Welsh. And that way we can go out social in social media and find those activities. And then we can invite them to share those activities in a web conference. So the participation is at two levels. One level is posting your activities asynchronously at any time in a social media website. And the other is to share the activities in a live meeting just like this. So that's how people participate. And oftentimes people have asked the question, if I'm a beginner, how am I supposed to do this? Because you're not going to speak any English. Well, if you're a beginner, you just, uh, if you're a beginner, you can just type into the chat window right now. I uh, type in, in uh, Welsh. Now, Ryan, you're gonna have to pronounce that for me. How do you say I can listen? <laughs> say that again. Gallaf, um, so the double L is it shh. Gallaf Urando. Gallaf Urando. Yes. All right. So we would ask people to type into the chat, chat window, Gallaf Urando. Uh, and so go ahead and type into the chat window right now. Gallaf, Gallaf, Gallaf Urando. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. And then if you are an intermediate person, then you could read. And so uh, you could come on the panel and you could read one of the activities. And you would say, Gashav Darshen. Is that right, Rian? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, um, Gashav Darshen. 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 Okay, Gashav. Gashav Darshan. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, so you could type, and we would ask people who feel that they are intermediate, they would type Gashav Darshan. Darshan. Okay. And then if you're an advanced uh, speaker, if you are someone who either has, has, a, has a, a family that is well speaking or you um, you want to share your abilities in Welsh, you would be an advanced person and you could create your own story. You could create your own um, activity and, and share that in a web conference. And so then they would type, oh my, you go ahead and pronounce that for me. Gallaf ysgrifennu stori i'w rhannu. Okay. So that's that's what we would do, and and so people who are uh, beginners would be able to participate, and people who are advanced would also be able to participate. Participate, and the idea is to create a learning community, uh, people who are helping each other, and so you try to understand, you listen and think and ask questions, and the idea is these web conferences are really just. A, the tip of the iceberg of the learning experience. The learning experience is in classrooms, uh, but this sort of uh, sharing, synchronous sharing experience is a way for people to get feedback on their pronunciation, to help others, and also to really motivate them to perform. When we go out and perform, uh, we sort of push ourselves to learn uh, even more. So then we ask people, Michael, you know, yes, go ahead, please. Um, for the, I know I probably asked you this be before, but for the demo, will we have um, people with already lined up with activities to bring to the demo? Yes, yes. And uh, in fact, yeah, uh, yeah. we'll talk about that afterwards. Uh, when, when the program works, uh, we have, 
regular meetings. Uh, and, and, and in most cases, it works best if we have a meeting each day. So cada dia in Spanish actually means each day. So the way to mm -hmm. make this work properly is to have a meeting each day. But that takes a great deal of organization. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. it's sort of like getting a wheel moving. It doesn't start going until you have the people and you don't have the people until it starts going. So it's a really difficult thing to get it started. And that's the reason we really do somehow need to get some seed uh, resources, uh, grants or uh, things of that nature to make it possible for us to schedule daily meetings in Welsh and also to facilitate and help people who are learning Welsh to share their activities. You can see that this needs, in order for this to work, it needs hundreds, if not thousands of people that are involved in the program in order for it to work properly. Um, so then we would also ask people, do you understand? If you don't understand, right, and, and Rihanna and I are gonna have to ask you to pronounce the word for slower. Aravach. Aravach. Okay, so type into the chat window, Aravach. Okay, excellent. And then uh, I don't understand, and Rihanna, I'm going to have to ask you to pronounce that as well. Need a wave and dash. Oh my! Uh, one more time. Need a wave and dash. Need a wave and dash. Okay, so pronounce. So then, type into the chat window. Need we. Weave and dares. Oh my! Um, do, do we think I don't know if my I don't know if my brain is going to be able to handle this. <laughs> Are you braver so then, than me? <laughs> <laughs> then, then we ask. Then we ask. Uh, we tell people if you need help, if you simply need help, you have the option of writing in English. Help, and we will have assistant facilitators who will correspond with you in the chat window if you need help. Uh, but you could also type in Welsh. Rhiannon, go ahead and pronounce the word for help. Help. Oh my, what? Just to say, well, can I you guys, um, assistance really more than help? Um, oh, okay. Can is the word for help, so can How do you, oh, that is, is Comart, com, comart. Yeah, it's different to Kenarthuya, really. Okay, so then it comart. Comart. Hmm. Or just um, so people would just say help in Welsh. Okay, excellent, excellent. Well, we'll have them uh, because of the difference of the word. I think we would want to promote the word that is. Uh, different than the English word, although the English word would 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 work or the, it would work. Um, okay, and then uh, we want people also after they understand how this works. You, you can see there's one strategy that we're using here, Rihanna, is we're we're even though there are fifty or a hundred people that are listening to the meeting, we keep them very involved by asking them questions throughout the meeting. You've gone to many web conferences, I'm sure, that are not interactive, that where they basically are, they might as well be watching a video. This is very different. We ask people to participate at every moment. So we would ask people to type, I understand in Welsh. And let me see if I can pronounce this, oh my. Yer, var, N, no, far, fav, fav, no, I can't do it. <laughs> Rihanna, please tell me how to, how to say I understand in Welsh. Um, dwi'n deall. Dwi'n deall. Dwi'n deall. Is that right? Dwi'n deall. So actually it would be I understand is actually 
just that. Is that correct? Rian? Uh oh, it sounds like I, I'm once again not able to hear. Let me check my mute and I can, see. I can hear you. You can hear me. I can me. hear you, Michael. Yeah. Uh, I wonder. Um, Rian is not able to speak right at the moment. And uh, <clears throat> she says um, the more informal is, uh, and unfortunately, we need a way to pronounce that. Uh, we actually have another. Uh, uh, visitor, and I'm going to uh, promote that visitor to a uh, to the panel, and I'm hoping. Diget, are you there? Hello. Yes. Yes, that's wonderful. We can hear you. Can you uh, read in the chat window? Uh, can you read the Welsh for the more informal? I understand. That is. Go ahead. Uh, doing deall. Doing dear. Yeah. Doing dear. Yeah. Doing dear. Okay. And so then, and uh, 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 pronounce your name for me. Is it Tegid? Tegid. 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 Uh, Tegid, thank you very much. I'm, we're really happy that you're here. And actually, in a moment, we'll ask you to introduce yourself. We're at this point just describing how we start the meetings. Um, we use these meetings as virtual immersion. And it's a social language learning uh, program. We start the program, usually the first five minutes or so is in English or the root language, whatever language we're, we're coming from. And then we go into completely into uh, the target language, which is Welsh in this particular case. Rihanna, I'm, if you, we can't hear you, I'm wondering if you could leave and come back and see if that will restore your audio because we would love to be able to, to hear you as well. Uh, so we would ask everyone to, to type um, uh, in uh, to, uh, to tell people that they, that they understand. And then what we would basically do is help people understand that we're going to begin now uh, going into completely into Welsh. And many people who are studying Welsh and who are beginners will be very confused. But what we try to do is we try to type the Welsh on the, on the screen, and we also try to type some uh, hint in, hints in the, the root language so that they won't get completely lost. So we go into virtual immersion. We're looking for the uh, facilitators. We don't have the facilitators. Well. Actually, we do. Uh, Amanda and Anna are going to be the facilitators for the demonstration meeting coming up on February 9th. And so we ask people to type hello in the chat window. And then we talk about in Welsh, we talk about the activities. And you can see this is an example of how we give hints about what is being said, because what the facilitator will say, and actually, Peggy, could you read the the Welsh on this screen underneath activity hand, handout? Adolaki a davlen ar gwirfodolur irani gweithgarez. Excellent. That's beautiful. It sounds just lovely, wonderful. Uh, but you can see that what we also do is we give the hint in the grayed out letters uh, in English of what that essentially means. And then uh, we go. Uh, the first uh, activity is to share a song. We give the instructions for each of these activities in Welsh. And uh, uh, Tegid, I imagine that the Welsh is not quite correct because we're still in the draft stage of developing this. But I'm wondering if you could read the instructions in Welsh on this slide. <laughs> uh, I'll have a look. Darkan um, gan gan uh, yn y Cymraeg ar YouTube. Dargan fyrddwch cyfeithiad o geiriau'r gan gwrandewch ar y gan a ceisiwch i ddeall trwy darllen y geiriau Cymraeg ar cyfeithiad. Yna rhanwch y gan gydag eraill gan ddefnyddio'r hashnod hashtag Cadadia Welsh 
Grandewch ar y cyfarwyddiadau llawn. Excellent. Now, I, I, I should tell you that the way this works is for someone who's studying Welsh, um, and actually, the truth be known, the, this slide is actually incorrect. It should have the Welsh at the top, and the English should be grayed out. But again, this is a, a, a draft of the slides. Um, and then what would happen is someone who is studying the language essentially would sort of look at the English and they would listen to the Welsh and they would be able to participate because they know that we're, we're now going to be sharing a song from YouTube, some of the lyrics and, and also a translation. And we don't have that activity just yet. We need to recruit Fiona. We need to recruit someone who will share. Actually, I think we do have someone who's going to be sharing a song. Let me look at my notes really quickly here, just for a moment. And I want to welcome back Rian. Rianan? Hello. Welcome back. We're glad that you, that, you, uh, that you came back. Let me look at my notes really quickly. And we do have, uh, I think we have a volunteer for the song. And what they would do is, is they would, uh, yeah, Rita. Uh, Fiona, is that correct? You, you, we have Rita to share the song. It's interesting. We're, we're now we, we can't hear Fiona. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But we're going to go ahead and continue at the moment. Uh, Fiona, if, if, you, if, if you would be so kind, I think you need to leave and, and come back to the meeting to, uh, to make uh, the audio correct. I'm not sure what's going on this morning. We have little gremlins running around, making it difficult for us to participate. So then we also ask them to volunteer. This again would be in Welsh. And then, um, uh, and honestly, I'm gonna go through these fairly quickly at this point. We won't read the Welsh at this point, but you get the idea that the next activity is to share a word and a sentence in, for that word. And then we would ask people to share that word. Then also a story. And again, it could be a news story in, on a, internet site that they share like a couple of paragraphs of a story or they could share a short story from a, a storybook for children or something of that nature and again they would share that that uh, little they would basically read that so that would be for an intermediate person or they could create a story and that would be an advanced uh, advanced speaker and uh, then verbs are to concentrate on the grammar uh, uh, different words change based on their usage. And so we would talk a little bit about that. Uh, then we would share that. Then also the uh, conversation. This is conversation starters. So it's how do you approach someone to speak to them in Welsh? Because speaking to someone is the best way to learn, frankly. And uh, so we would do that. And Fiona, can you speak now? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Excellent. Sure. Thank you so much. So I'm going to Good. finish this, this up because basically you get the idea the next activity is a, to share a trip or a trip that you've taken or would like to take. And this is also an opportunity for a business that would like to uh, promote travel to Welsh speaking areas. They could talk about, uh, but this would all be in Welsh. It would not be in English. And then they would share that. And then the last activity, which is fairly uh, 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 advanced is to tell a story about your family and friends. It might be about an event or something of that nature and with photographs and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and, and uh, yeah, go ahead, Fiona. Sorry, Micah. Can I jump in? Um, yes, I did hear you earlier. I don't think um, Rita, Rita's not a Welsh speaker as far as I'm aware. Well, if she is. Well, I'm almost uh, 99. If, Mm -hmm. if, if, if she is a uh, if she is studying Welsh, and she could read Welsh, she could do that activity. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if uh, I'll find out for you. I know I met Risa. She was work. She's actually originally from Holland, working in Swansea, and now she's working in Canada. So I okay. know she lived here for about ten. 10 10 or so years so yeah i'll i'll check but okay. uh i i'd say between all of us here um 
if uh, if you need volunteers for the different activities, including uh, the the story, uh, no, the song one, yes. um, we can we can recruit. Excellent. I'm sure Rhiannon Excellent. has a lot of a lot of uh, contacts as yes, well. Um, yeah, and let's Amanda. Actually, let's actually hear from Rhiannon and Peggy. Um, uh, actually, I would I would love to have Peggy, uh, Peggy, uh, introduce himself and and where where you're calling from and where you're and your involvement with Welsh. Yeah. Hi. Um, my involvement with Welsh is I'm I was born and bred in Wales. Um, I'm now living in the USA. Um, my family is you know as Welsh as Welsh can be. We speak Welsh at home. Um, and as for my reason for being on this call, I have no idea how I got to know about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it piqued my interest and this is why I was here. I was hoping I could just kind of, you know, nestle in the background and I was kind of curious as to what was going on. Um, well, if I can respond just very briefly and then I would love for you to share more is, uh, is, is one of, as, as you know, the Welsh language is, uh, it, it, the the Welsh government is actually trying to find ways to pr protect the Welsh language because uh, uh, it's not being used as much as uh, it was in the past. And so this program is actually a way to virtually reach out to people all over the world who speak Welsh, uh, perhaps in the United States. In fact, you're a great example, uh, and I would uh, very much love to invite you to come to the demonstration meeting on February 9th. In fact, if you would be willing to share one of those activities, it could be the, since you're a native speaker, the, the, the family activity, if you could share a short little story about your family or something of that nature, uh, it would be an excellent example of how we can informally uh, continue and, and really support um, the Welsh language. Yeah, cool. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I, I'd have to look at the the time frames and things like that. Um, but yeah, sounds sounds interesting. Excellent, uh, Rhiannon. Do you want to uh, share just a little bit about your uh, your your involvement with Welsh and also uh, your feedback on on the program itself? Yes, um, pretty much the same. Um, I was um, born and bred in North Wales, and um, my both my parents spoke Welsh. Um, so um, most days I rarely speak English. Um, I'm now a lecturer in Welsh um, at the University of South Wales. Um, so um, I teach Welsh on an undergraduate level. So my involvement in the program is um, I'm trying to get volunteers to help with the demo meeting. I have some students. Um, I also have contacts with um, Welsh for Adults, um, which are on the same campus as I am. So I've, um, I've asked them for volunteers as well. So hopefully we can get some people um, to help. Excellent, excellent. What Can you share just a little bit of feedback? Uh, this. Uh, Fiona and I both are interested in this particular program, uh, really from an educator's perspective. We're interested in the idea of how can we use technology to enhance uh, learning in this social uh, manner. And so we're, our interest is, is in the design of the curriculum and in the design of the platform to make something that uh, motivates people and that uh, develops sort of a community where people are supporting each other. Can you give us some feedback on, as you've sort of reviewed now, the structure of the Katadia Welsh platform? Can you give us some feedback on your perspective on how it might work or how we might make it better? I think um, the program looks good as it is. Um, all my students come from a second language background. Um, so the main problem is that they don't speak Welsh outside of the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, so often they could um, they could speak about more complex things um, rather than saying what the weather is or just everyday conversations. 
um, because they don't speak Welsh at home. So I think any sort of platform that would get them interested in news, as we spoke before, um, something to enhance their vocabulary, so with a, with a dictionary, that's what my students say most. Um, anything so they can listen to a Welsh song. Um, so base, I'd say basic conversational skills, but also um, something that would get them interested in Welsh culture as well, because they don't watch television in Welsh or listen to the radio in Welsh and so on. So I think the programme as it is, is, it's very good start um, towards this. Excellent, excellent. Peggy, do you have any, any comments before we uh, go into the next steps and, and leave the meeting today? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm from a totally different uh, background to Rhiannon. Um, I, I'm also from North Wales, um, but you know, I left home when I was 16. And so my, my Welsh tends to be Although I can understand it pretty well, um, I can read it and understand it, but um, writing and talking is probably more of a challenge now than it used to be, having spent many, many, many years away from home. And I'm not from an educational background, I hasten to add. Yes, and, and quite honestly, Fiona, this is actually an interest of the Welsh government. Uh, Beth Ann, for example, I think would be very interested to talk uh, 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 to uh, to Teggy uh, about uh, just supporting the language and keeping the language alive because, frankly, uh, people move to the United States. They're 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 immersed in English, and and frankly, English is uh, the only thing that's spoken generally in the United States. Although some other languages, but we do uh, we do have. Um, uh, a need and the Welsh government is has a need is is interested in promoting Welsh. Fiona, do you want to talk about that at all? Yeah, well, only recently, uh, well, in the last few days, there was an article about uh, the the Welsh language in Patagonia and um, the need for funds to to be put into that to to keep it alive. In the past, there's been um, drives to connect the the Welsh language stations or television stations here with Patagonia, um, and I'm sure within Wales itself, not not you know like overseas, like like the states, but in in Wales itself, there's pockets in Wales quite a number of pockets I'm seeing as an outsider um, uh, that uh, the Welsh language, they're losing their, their Welsh language. Obviously, there's areas which are still vibrant in the language, um, but particularly uh, talking with uh, uh, Beth and Webb from the, the Welsh government, particularly in English medium schools where they are, are learning Welsh but the the it's something like three hours a week, and it's um, very book driven, and they don't get the opportunity to speak and practice um, the the language with you know on everyday topics. And I think um, yeah, so the Welsh government is looking at um, you know generating money to support it in Patagonia and I'm guess on a global level, but also um, the money that they are putting into it currently in Wales, they're looking at, um, <laughs> I'm not an authority in it, but from what, what my understanding is, they're, they're looking at trying to improve how the money is used in the sense that the money's going in, but the the output that's coming out the other side doesn't match the the money that's going into the language. Mm -hmm. And things like um, this platform um, could be used to to promote the the spoken language, really, I think is what i'm I'm trying to say. Um, I don't know, Rhianne, and this is probably more your area than mine, but um, 
just chatting with people over the last few months, it seems that um, particularly yeah, in, in those English medium, English medium schools that there needs to be more of a push to, to get the, the students, the learners actually speaking and engaging in conversations, discussions, be it online or, you know, face to face. But, uh, yeah, so uh, it is, it's very interesting, Teget, to, to hear, hear your story. And I think um, if you're happy and it, and it, it works for you, it, it would be very interesting to have you a part of this demo because, uh, you know, we, we will have representatives from Patagonia, from all north, south, all over Wales. Um, so it'll be interesting to, to just to, to give a glimpse of how a tool like this could be used to bring to bring Welsh speakers together uh, and speaking together. Rhiannon, do you have any final comments before we before we go? No, um, just to add that um, Fiona is, um, yes, um, absolutely right. Um, it's just the conversational and the Welsh culture is mainly the background, which is the opposite to what I was brought up with because I had the Welsh culture in the background. Um, but that's what our students um, don't have very often um, because um, where we are pa placed in um, South Wales, um, there's not much Welsh in the area, um, uh, spoken Welsh in the community or in the home. So it's just anything really to get them speaking about everyday topics. Wow, that's great. Well, I'll tell you, uh, Fiona, I, and I, I have to be honest, uh, both with Rihanna and, and Tegiet, is that... Uh, uh, we have a hurdle that we need to uh, breach, and that is uh, we need to have a good dis dis demonstration meeting before, uh, before we can get this going. Um, uh, we have other programs in, in English and in Spanish for Cadidia, but this particular program, I'm having difficulty getting volunteers so rihanna i i'm wondering if i can turn to you and i'm i'm uh, forgive me but i'm going to shuffle back on the slides very quickly to the to the slide with all of the volunteers because frankly our hurdle right now is we need to make sure that we have uh volunteers for each of these activities and that we have our host uh well uh well trained and Rihanna, and I'm, I'm wondering uh, if if Amanda is not showing up to our planning meetings, Fiona. We need to identify a host very quickly because we need to train them to give this presentation in Welsh, and I'm going to need to help them understand how to do it. So, uh, so first, Rihanna, yeah. I'm I'm wondering if you can help us find volunteers. Yes, um, I've asked my students, um, but they've been off now for three weeks, so I didn't get an answer before Christmas. Okay. So um, I emailed them again this week, and the, the term was starting yesterday. So hopefully I'll get more answers. And then um, I have contacts in Welsh for adults as well. I've asked them to um, ask people to help as well. Excellent. And what I can do, Rhiannon, is, is I can work with them individually. So if you send me... Uh, their contact information, um, uh, or frank frankly, the best thing to do is to ask them, would they share a song in Welsh from YouTube? Find the song, find the lyrics, get a translation of the lyrics, and we'll put them on a slide, and they can read the lyrics to the song, and they can, uh, so we can, and then we can provide a link to the song in YouTube. Or do they want to share a word and a, a couple of sentences sharing the context of that particular word, um, or the or the story, etc. The conversation tips, the the verb grammar, or travels. Actually, for travels, I would love to to identify. And Fiona, you could help with this. 
We need to identify a company. I would actually like to have a business do this because some businesses do transactions in Welsh. So what I'd like to do is to mm -hmm. show the business, the business value of this kind of platform. And so if we could identify a company that, um, that does Welsh trips, trips to visit Welsh speaking areas, they could share some information about a Welsh area to go visit. And then it, Tegid, Tegid, if if you would be willing to to volunteer for the family, I would absolutely love it. Our meeting is going to be held at this exact same time on February 9th. Uh, so that's coming up in, in almost uh, it's just a month now. <clears throat> would you be willing to do that with us? Sorry, I was um, writing some notes. Um, I'd, I'd have to go and, and check and see what my work commitments are on that particular day. I understand. Um, I understand. That's the challenge I have. All right. Well, I will correspond with you and see if I can get you to volunteer for that. So, uh, Rihanna, that, that's our, our challenge is we need to make sure that we have people and they will need to come to some planning sessions in order for them to be prepared. What I'd like to do is to have them prepare the activity, send the activity to me at this point, and uh, then I will make the slides and then we can come to a planning meeting and they can practice uh, their activity. Does that sound like um, it's possible? Yes, I think so. Um, what level of Welsh do they need um, to be a volunteer? Yeah, I think that we could have uh, uh, some beginners who share uh, a dictionary, uh, some beginners that maybe share the verbs because the grammar is something that a lot of beginners deal with. And really all they have to be able to do is to try to pronounce the Welsh. That's all they need to do um, because w they will simply have one or two sentences on the screen to read <clears throat> because the facilitator will say, for example, in Welsh, uh, can you share your verb with us? And they would say in Welsh, yes. And then they would share the verb and they would share the sentences. And then the Welsh facilitator would perhaps help them with some of their pronunciation. And uh, then that's really it. They would thank them and we'd go to the next activity. So. Beginners can do the verbs and also dictionary. Uh, intermediate people would do a song or the story in and the conversations, travels of family. Okay, so do we have any final questions yeah. before we leave today? If you can I, you have, yes. Yeah, can I uh, jump in? Um, Will I put together a list of all the uh, potential funding kind of people? Yeah, I think that because you and I will. Stage, yes, you and I should invite. Work. Yes. yes. Yeah, and then the other thing, Michael, is um, we've got a we've hopefully through this demo we'll have you know something happening that we'll need to evaluate and document right. and possibly, you know, we could have, you know, th there might be a lot of interesting things happening that we could put into a paper, for example. Um, how have you, like with Cadidia Spanish, um, I, I think again, I probably asked you this before, but, uh, should we be looking at coming up with some sort of uh, yeah. like there's a questionnaire or an interview like I'm, I'm kind of looking at after the demo like how are we going to gather you know feedback from all the different participants uh, if if you want I could start looking into that and look or else if, if you've used if you've used uh, methods before with Cadidia Spanish we can just you know adapt them yes but yeah uh, I, will, I think uh, yeah i think it's between the two of us we can come up with a short questionnaire and the questions could be done 
live, or it could be that we that we simply send them the questionnaire and they type their responses. Um, uh, yes, definitely, we'll need to document that. I don't think this is on the level of a research question because we would need to do perhaps eight weeks of uh, events like this in order to see movement in terms of language ability or skill. Um, and that's something that we should, uh, we should plan for the future so that there's a research component to the, uh, to the delivery method. I think that's all we have time for right now. We are at the uh, bottom of the hour and we keep these, we try to keep this to right to an hour. Um, I, I will continue to invite all of you. I'm hoping, Rihanna, if we can identify some people, uh, that would be wonderful. Feel free to send me names of people and I can correspond with them myself um, and I can help them uh, develop the activity and, um, and get them into the planning meeting. Okay, I'll try my best. Great, thank you so much. Tegi, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm, I'm hoping that you can come back with us, especially on February 9th. Uh, yes, it's it, it was certainly interesting. That's um, great. <laughs> it's great. We're really happy that you were here. And we we're estimating that there are thousands of people like you in the United States that uh, are have a Welsh heritage but are not speaking Welsh. And so this program is really designed to bring some of those people out as well. I already know uh, off the top of my head of at least two or three people, um, one of which who I went to school with. So, um, you know, who lives down in Florida now. And so um, would you be interested in if I could, is there a contact thing I could use for yes. them to reach out? Yes, please, I'll send you a follow-up email and you can, you can just, all I need is contact information and I'll put them into the list so that we've got uh, an announcement that goes out to them and an invitation. Cool. Excellent. Thank you very much. We're really happy, happy that you were here with us today. This was a meeting. This meeting was recorded, so it will be posted on YouTube and it will also be shared in the, uh, the materials in the social language learning areas where Katadia Welsh is living right now. Thank you very much, Fiona. We'll talk to you again. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye, everyone. Bye.